Okay, looking at a like, top waffler balance patch preview. It's out, uh, and I've not seen much of it. I I, I loaded onto the page. I saw this and it's already a W, bro. I can't lie, it's, it's already a good patch. Like, it, I don't want to um, jinx it because obviously we, we know what BMG are capable of. Uh, okay. But like straight away, this is elite. And I'm very happy they've done this. Uh, before we do get into that though, uh, if you do want to ever see the, the patch like before it comes out, like even before they tweet it, because sometimes they'll tweet like, oh, the band's patch reviews here. But if just periodically you search in, you know, ballot slash balance hyphen preview, you just search this in. If they've updated their website and like just not told anyone about it, which they do every single patch, uh, you'll come to this page. So yeah, I'd recommend doing that every now and again if you, if you care that much. Uh, also leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that a lot. It helped me out like so much. And you know that shit takes two seconds. So so do it, pussy. Second channel as well. Anyway, so uh, the test feature they graduated was um the, like the dash thing, pretty much. I made a whole video about like how game changing this is uh and i've not seen because i've seen some screenshots of people post on twitter about like boldvar has some stun changes and I think blasters delight as an extra thing of damage uh but like no one's talked about this and i don't know why because it's it's actually fucking huge like this is graduated into the game it's in rank it's in tournament it's in all this stuff and it like affects pretty much every single weapon so previously without this change uh without this test feature you could just dash out of like most scythe combos some katars combos there was a lot of shit you could just dash out of even if you didn't have a dodge so let's say if you caught somebody's dodge on a weapon like scythe where the whole weapon is like balanced around catching somebody's dodge and then getting confirms out of it you didn't have confirms out of it because you'd catch someone's dodge and they could just dash out of the next move so it just it really unbalanced a lot of fucking weapons i'm just gonna do like video inception right now but it, it's this where like he's, he's used a dodge okay so he's on a three second cooldown but uh the orion can here we go we're gonna see it in a second can snap to the platform like that and dash out the way of a confirmed string something that like i said should be confirmed if they don't have a dodge and should be a kill and you know could like decide the fucking outcome of an entire tournament you know and if you if you go extreme with it but like there was there's examples on any single string weapon in the game like scythe as well here let's say your opponent used a gravity cancel so that they, they're on a guaranteed three second cooldown you hit D-Light, you hit Reverse Nair. This D-Light, they'd be able to just dash out of it. Or well, maybe not this one, because I think that ended up off stage, or did it? Either way, that string you could dash out of. Guitars like there into side light, you could dash out of sometimes too. Uh, this is another example on Guitars. He uses a gravity cancel here, so no matter what, even if he touches the floor, he's still on a three second cooldown, right? And then I hit a dare on Guitars. Uh, I think right now I hit a dare on Guitars. And he can just dash out of what is supposed to be like a lot of damage you know so watch he just dashes out <laughs> which is crazy because like i said that is supposed to be like you're on a three second cooldown against guitars and you've just been hit by by a dare like that should be the entire half pipe fucking twice you get what i'm saying and it's you can just dash out the, the first move you get one dare that's it which is like 10 damage so yeah it was bad so now when you come out of hit stun your dash you, you can't input a dash for four frames and this isn't a nerf like to the game like it was always like this before it's just that when they added the new movement and like the new really quick dashes uh it, it, they broke it because they didn't expect this to to happen they just didn't think about this it was an oversight and like i said because they made it so you could dash so fucking quickly and you can snap to the floor and dash like frame one it just broke strings like it broke all these string weapons um and surprise bro i can't lie i don't think pros were like abusing that shit enough uh, like there was a lot of shit you could like great sword even I, I'm, not, I'm not one to defend great sword but you could fucking get out of some shit on great sword that you just shouldn't be able to but yeah uh it's just a good change like really good change and also helps a lot with like the the, the fucking pass passivity pacificity passiveness who knows of this game it helps a lot with that bro because when you actually finally catch somebody now like imagine you chase somebody for fucking six minutes yeah and you catch you catch their dodge you're like, yes yes i caught a fucking dodge fucking grab the little rat by its tail and then it's like they just dash out the first thing you know like it's not fair like, like you grab the rat by its tail and then the rat just sheds its tail and runs away like that shit's not fair but you should be able to fucking launch the rat but you couldn't uh but now you can so it just increases the quality of engagements which is one half of making the game not passive quality of engagements and frequency of engagements i've been saying this so good shit uh and then on to balance uh axe ground pounds reduce the hitbox on the ground collision this shit was okay i saw someone say that axe ground pound got a nerf this is a strange nerf out of all things it was like a broken thing but nobody at a top level did it like 
you would maybe see some axe players trolling with it in like 2500 and prospering but no pro players were using the broken ass like grounded axe fucking ground pound hitbox because it's just a troll like it as soon as you catch on to what they're doing you can punish it but like it, it was cringe i don't know why of all things i actually nerfed that but okay boots ground pound increased minimum charge time from 18 to 21 so it comes out three frames later which is a solid nerf uh boots ground pound was broken to be fair but i also i don't think boots are that strong i think they should have buffed something else boots sidelight is actually in need of like a not even just a buff but a rework to make it so that your opponent doesn't count as grounded when they dodge out of it because at the moment you dodge out of boot sidelight uh, it counts as a grounded dodge so you get your dodge back in like one second which onto the you know quality of engagement thing i was talking about earlier uh it's not very good you know because you read a dodge and you get literally nothing out of it you don't get anything out of it you get one hit i, I would have changed something to do with that as well like a little power shift from ground pound to sidelight but nope just a straight nerf uh which is interesting Increase the oh usually the pants previews don't have the actual reasoning behind what they're doing. This one does increase the minimum charge time. The better match its relatively wide threat coverage into grant a slightly larger dodge window when used as a follow up attack. Oh yeah, so it, it ground pound won't be true out of uh, Eli anymore. But then it was like that was like a really really situational. Like you would never use that shit. Strange. This is what I mean. Like this is sick. So I can't like even though the balance patch is probably gonna be all be shit. Like it is. <laughs> Oh my god, I just got a fucking shooting pain in my fucking heart. I'm gonna die. Oh, please don't let me die during a fucking balance patch, bro. I had a fucking YouTube video on my head. Oh, I think we made it. <laughs> I think we made it. Okay. Yeah, I forgot what I was even saying. Uh, Blast is D-Light. Increased total damage from 12 to 13. <laughs> is that the whole fucking, the whole buff? That's impressive. Focus most of the damage into the final hit. Oh, well, thank God, man. Well, the Blaster's D-Light is a combo starter that can lead into another attack. The damage dealt by the D-Light itself is highly subject to positioning. Focus most of the damage into the final hit. Slightly increase the total damage to provide a much more consistent reward. It, it's, I wouldn't actually consider this a buff. It's just a change. Um, like, you know, they do those graphics and there's like a plus if something's been buffed and then like a, a minus if it's been nerfed and then it's like just a line if it's just a change i would this is a line the devs are taking fucking lines of coke as well at the offices cannon there can road oh why am i reading that cannon there increased recovery time on miss after ground collision from a range this is this is this is the most confusing fucking thing i've ever read in my life out of all and bro listen they get confusing sometimes this is this is fucking dumb Increased total recovery time on miss after grounded collision from a range of 10 to 21 to a range of 15 to 21. Decreased window of ground detection from 12 to 7. What? Okay, let's make sense of this. Decreased window of ground detection from 12 to 7. 12 to 7 fucking what? Who knows frames? We, uh, we'll, okay, so before there would be a 12 frame window where Canon Nair would be the grounded version of Canon Nair, if I'm reading that right. And that grounded version of Canon Nair could end up having as little as 10 frames of input delay, or like uh, end lag, I should say, sorry. It could have as little as 10 frames of end lag, up to 21 frames, so it would be inconsistent. I guess depending on which frame you've hit the ground and on which frame of the fucking ground detection window you've hit the cannon air rock fucking hell uh, hopefully what i'm saying makes sense it makes sense in my head now but yeah to be fair this is quite difficult to explain so now there's less window for you to to do a, a grounded cannon there and when you do hit that window uh you won't be getting 10 frames of input delay you'll be getting at minimum 15 up to 21 so uh, why did Canon ever work like this is actually the main question. I don't, <laughs> I don't even have questions for why they've made this change. Why did Canon Air ever work like this? What? Why did I have a fucking 11 frame like range of of end lag on it? Oh, well, what? Like it's a good change, yeah. Yeah, because it just makes the weapon more consistent. Because that's cringe. Imagine you see a Canon player do like a grounded Nair and you're like, oh, I can punish. But they got the fucking, they, you know, they <laughs> they rolled the Brahalla dice. Uh, they got the fucking 10 frame RNG. So then you couldn't punish it. But then like, you know, they do another net and then they get the 21 frame RNG and then you punish it easy. And you're like, wait, why could I not punish it the first time? I've just done the same thing. So yeah, it just makes the weapon more consistent to play against. You know, mashing fucking apes. Uh, good change, I guess. Uh, great sword. We've delayed the attack and movement cancels. Oh, wait. Side light opener on miss to provide a greater window to maneuver. Oh my god, to maneuver around the user and begin a counter attack against this far reaching opener. 
Oh, this also brings the slider. Openers risk close relying with more reliable rewards. You to oh my god, post hit sun and dodge consistency graduation with test features. The great sword now has, has has less allowed acceleration during the attack and recovery time on miss to better match his overall speed and size. Oh, oh my god, we made it. <laughs> Fucking hell, great sword is playable against. Is that you? Oh my god, man. So slider opener increased time before you can cancel into a bridge on miss from 12 to 15. Yes, that I don't think that'll make a huge difference because 15 is not a lot. Uh, increase time before you can cancel into a jump dash or dodge from 18 to 21. Okay, so it's only three frame nerfs, but here's the thing, man. 18? It, it says 18, but the real number was one. Like, you could dodge while the animation was still playing off of a sideline opener. So only three more frames? I'll take it, but like, it's, it, it, it's, it's now just, it's still the quickest fucking attack in the game least punishable attack in the game but just less so you know so <laughs> it will still be fucking cringe but uh it's not it won't give you actual like it won't the transfer illnesses from the screen to your fucking body anymore it will uh, hope mm, there'll be less fucking terminal great sword there decreasing amount of allowed acceleration yeah this will do nothing every time if it says decrease amount of allowed acceleration it does nothing uh if it says slightly increased it does a little bit more and then it will say like moderately increased and then it'll be like greatly decreased. Just saying decreased, th this is not a change. Remove it. Oh, guitars. This is going to be enough. I'm assuming with post hits done dodge consistency, graduating from test features, you've increased the recovery time on miss for the guitars there on ground collision to better match the more reliable reward that can be gained. Okay, I understand what they're saying with that. It. I'm going to explain why it's, it's fucking like uh special it's a special change in a second uh but okay guitars there increased total okay so from nine to eleven you know two more frames of end lag if you miss the grounded there uh well there was variable frames i think i think nine might have been like if you did it like fucking one fucking pixel off the floor you would get the nine frame version so it's 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 10 to 11 it's one frame of extra end lag but so why they did this is because now you can't just dash out of Qatar's there if you waste your dodge and gravity cancel or something like that. Uh, but that was always a thing. <laughs> so they broke some of Qatar's strings. And then, you know, as a trade-off for fixing what they broke, uh, they nerfed the weapon. Can you think about what I've just said there? And, you know, hopefully you come to the conclusion it's a bit stupid. But Qatar's are in need of nerfs. I just don't know if this is the right one, to be honest. Uh, okay, Lance Sidelight. Decrease recovery time from 12 to 10. What the fuck? They buffed Lance. To be fair, Lance could do with a buff. And it doesn't need like fucking uh, recovery into or sideline to recovery chew again. That's not the type of buff Lance needs. You know, that small buffs like this, sure. Uh, just, you know, sideline is more unpunishable. Uh, I think, uh, at least they did it to something like sideline too and not something like Sair, break the weapon again or something like Dare, which would be stupid. This is probably the most sensible change they've made throughout the, this patch so far. Scythe D-Light has greater recovery time on Miss. Better match, it's more relaxed. So Scythe, this, they've done the same thing with Katars. Like, that's so stupid. They, they broke the weapon, and then they fixed what they broke, and they're like, oh, wait, this weapon's better now that we've fixed our, you know, our bug. So now we have to nerf the weapon. Even though the Scythe, it, was, it always had these strings guaranteed. BMG broke them. And like I said, for fixing them, they thought, yeah, fuck it, now we have to make it worse. Uh, it, that doesn't make sense. Whoa, they... You need to fire. You need to sack these brothers making these changes. You need to get them out of the fucking office. But what the fuck? Scythe D-Light increased total recovery time from 8 to 10. And it's not even a fucking... It's two frames. 8 to 10. Yeah, nice. That is really... Like, I can't... There's a, Obviously, there's a word I want to use. And I'm, I'm not allowed on YouTube, man. But how the fuck... What goes through your brain to do this to these weapons? Because even Greatsword, they did the same shit to But, like, Greatsword needed it anyway. You know, but like, this is not, these are not good reasons that you can't break something and then fix it and then be like, oh, now it's too broken. Now we have, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. This one was the one I was seeing. I don't know what this fucking means for the game. Uh, so, <laughs> NSIG on Boulevard's hammer has gone from 18 frames of stun to 28. I've never seen a stun change this big in my life. Like, in, like, the last fucking, what, five years I've been playing this game, bro. Uh, side on hammer from 18 to 28. 10 frames again. And then D-Sig on Hammer from 25 to 26. That fuck knows what they're cooking up with this, man. I, I don't know if this means you get true combos out of Bodvar's Sigs or what, what the fuck is going on. But yeah. 
cause Hammer Ensig decrease minimum charge from 10 to 9. I think this might make Eli Ensig chew again. I'm not sure, but Ensig on Hammer comes out one frame quicker. Tactic on Blasters decrease minimum charge from 10 to 8, so that comes out quicker. That Sig is shit, so fair enough. And decrease total recovery time from 21 to 19. Good change. That Sig is ass. Uh, Ensig on Scarlet Hammer 18 to 26 stunned. What? What are they doing? Side Sig. 20 to 28 oh uh, uh, that's not good that that's the one that spikes as well you know like when you get hit by a, a terror sensei on axe and it's like you, you are not you might as well put the controller down and fucking toss off while, while you're like because you can't do anything but like you are just in stun until you hit the fucking death barrier at the bottom that's like maybe it's not gonna be that bad but what the fuck is this eight frames to, to a sig that spikes like hello uh and then these sig 18 to 27 and increase the damage by two out of every single person's fucking sig kit to buff, Scarlet's like it. Are they okay? What the fuck is wrong with them? Okay. Side sig on Tesla's gone. Tesla, what the fuck? Elon Musk decreased ma maximum horizontal and threat cover and vertical threat coverage. Why is the word coverage not there? I'm so used to it being there. It's fucking up my brain. Decreased maximum horizontal and vertical threat while spinning a grab target. So like, it's just a two change. It's just. You can't get sucked into the attack in twos when you're trying to save your teammate from it, basically, I think. Yeah, because well, while spinning a grab target only. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is actually... <laughs> this is a win for black people, Asian people, fucking Mexicans, everybody all across the board. But they've tamed the fucking racists. Increased minimum charge time from 11 to 14 on the crutch of Ulgrim, which is axe sig Praise the lord. Ulgrim might actually struggle to kill a little bit now. It, I mean, three frames is not huge, but... Well, it's, a, it's big for Brahada. They usually don't make free frame changes, you know? Obviously, we've seen some fucking... I don't know what they're smoking, man. Uh, and then this is the patch to make VV legal. So let's see what they've done. Increased movement charge time from 6 to 8. Fucking, it was 6? Uh, okay, so it comes out two frames later. Sighting on boots. Minimum charge time from 3. Get... Oh, that doesn't mean how quick it comes out. It's like the charge time is like... So there's three frames to charge it until the... the, the like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Until like the fucking frames start coming out you know like the startup frames i think anyway uh side on boots from three to six and nsig on blasters decreased force of the wall version fair enough from 38 to 36 it's, it's not it's not gonna make a difference okay interesting fucking change man uh, i am actually going to get fired from my job uh because i am in work in 30 minutes and i need to edit and upload this fucking video uh so wish me luck man